rainy, cloudy, dreary days call for time inside and spending it in the kitchen. It's rhubarb season here in the Midwest, and so it's time to make my low sugar rhubarb jam. Our neighbors are so thoughtful in letting us pick this wonderful fruit, so I thought, what better day than to make some ginger cinnamon flavored honey sweetened jam and i use the elliott homestead recipe so i'll put that in the description box for you but rainy days call for baking and cooking i love the smells of sweetened jams baking on the stove they just bring about such an aroma in the house they make it feel cozy and inviting and definitely knowing that when those winter months come and you're wanting some jam on some homemade sourdough bread that a labor of love went into this process. So I am going to be hot water bathing the jam just to make sure that there are no issues with how it will seal and so I think it's just important to preserve food that we can have stored up for our families in the winter months when fresh food is just not as available. It's such a lovely sound after you take those jars out of your hot water bath and you hear that nice little pop knowing that labor you went into sealed and those will be ready for using in the winter months. Now to my rhubarb crisp, I did use some strawberry in there too, just some frozen strawberries. It is strawberry season as well, but I didn't have any fresh on hand. But this crisp recipe is one that is a go-to for me, whether you do apple, whether you do a berry, whether you do peach, it's one that my mother taught me and one that I have adjusted slightly to my liking, just with adding extra coconut sugar and not the refined sugar, um, just changing a few things here and there. But it's also wonderful when you are homemaking to have your littles help and whether it be just opening the stick of butter, stirring, just watching, getting their little hands in the kitchen is so wonderful on these rainy days, teaching them lessons on how to be a homemaker. delicious smell of a baking crisp as well as that rhubarb jam just makes me want to eat this right away and have some sourdough bread with some jam on it but it is time to move on to the next task which is being crafty so this was a thrifted find and actually it was a free find it's a Norman Rockwell painting that I just was not too keen on the frame. So why not spray paint it and I'll potentially use that in our little house, our um, cottage, our fixer upper, or in our home. But getting crafty is a great way to spend time on these rainy days and quickly going outside between the rainstorms as well to get that spray painting done. After it set for a while, I removed the cover and the tape and it just changed the look so much with just a little bit of gold spray paint and I love it. I think I might use it to cover our electrical box and our little fixer bar. So just such a transformation. Oh, the second rainstorm of the day and in the afternoon. Enjoying just looking outside from indoors as the rain comes down, the thunder and lightning are happening outside. So now it's time to make my raw milk yogurt. I have honestly never made instant pot yogurt before. So if you guys are all pros at this, I'm so glad I have not done it. But 
it was something I wanted to experiment with and it actually turned out quite well and I I think it'll be something that I'll continue to use. We ended up finding a local farmer who is certified organic raw dairy so I just thought that would be um, an important source for us to have. So I've been using their raw milk for my girls, for us, and it's been delicious to have. So just um, getting the yogurt into some jars, putting them in the Instant Pot, it's a pretty long process and I should have done this in the evening <laughs> instead of the afternoon as it's supposed to sit in the Instant Pot for 10 hours. So I had to get up in the middle of the night and take it out. But I learned as I go um, and that's one thing about homemaking, you learn as you go. And although it turned out well, just changing the timing a little bit <laughs> would do me well. time was a very simple affair of baked sweet potatoes, a whole ham, because when you make a whole ham you can use it then the rest of the week for soups and for ham sandwiches and for putting in pastas. It's such a versatile meat so I love making whole chickens, whole ham and just being able to have that food for the next days throughout the week. After waiting all day with that crisp just lingering on the counter, it is time to enjoy this delicious rhubarb and strawberry crisp after our wonderful meal. So I hope you enjoyed today with just seeing some rainy day homemaking in the kitchen and then now finally cleaning up the kitchen after the time is done of working in there. So I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in the next video. Thank you.